Perfectibility, the capacity to be made completely free from faults or defects. Well, I have to say that this thing is not free from all faults or defects. However, this is the perfect version of the real great unicorn Gundam to go for. What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here and today I'm going to be reviewing the real grade Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility from Mosu Gundam Unicorn Perfectibility. But before I begin, I will not be covering any of the common features on this kit so if you want a more detailed look into the real grade Unicorn Gundam and the variants, please check out their respective videos. They are up in the cards up above. So this thing right here with the white and blue color scheme does boast a chivalrous look and I really do love it to bits. And the two-tone whites and of course the decals that I've applied, it does spice the look up quite a bit. And it is more refreshing to look at it in unicorn mode than destroy mode in my opinion because we never really get to see a detailed look of the perfectibility in unicorn mode in the animated short that's played in Gundam Base Tokyo apart from the launching sequence. So here we have a more detailed look at the unicorn mode but essentially it's just the unicorn Gundam with all of the armed armor equipment closed up. So there's nothing really too new to see there, but in the structural integrity department, Bandai has really improved on the structure because the head and the arm number XC is slightly tightened up. The arms themselves are like the Fenex, they're not too tight, so there's really not too much of a risk of breaking the inner mechanisms. But the one thing that this thing cannot escape from is the leg thrusters having a potential to break during the transformation, so don't transform this thing too much. Not that anybody would. But this thing overall is just perfect. But then again, it's just a Unicorn Gundam with everything that I've covered, but the Arm Armor HJ, the Hyper Beam Javelin. So and now I will talk about this, and it does look very, very nice. The one baffling thing is I don't know where this thing is stored. That's basically it. But overall, in the folded mode, this thing does look pretty nice. So if you want to unfold it, you basically just extend the double joint in the middle, fold the axe blade out while pulling the strut out and plugging the axe blade onto the strut over here. Now it sometimes does get dislocated but it's not really that big of a problem just pop it in there and you'll be fine and then the lower blade you just basically flip it out and there are three points to plug on the handle one on the top one on the middle and one at the bottom but I usually like to plug it onto the middle and here you have it, the hyper beam javelin is opened up. And you do get the effect parts, which are in a very, very nice blue. So you can just plug these things on, and here you go. The hyper beam javelin being deployed. Now, I'm not really too sure how this thing is going to be used in this configuration because all I've seen is the axe configuration, which is commonly used by the Unicorn Gundam, and the Kashachira repaired. So here you have it. This is the more commonly known axe look. And the Unicorn Gundam has no problems whatsoever holding this up, unlike the high grade. So one more thing to praise the structural integrity for. This thing can handle humongous weapons. But now I'm sure people who have built the full armor Unicorn real grade have known this already, but it's new to me. So that's why I am very, very happy that it can do this. Although I did expect it to an extent. And there is also the feature to take the tip over here rotate it 90 degrees and bring in the leftover beam magnum and then plugging it on as a bayonet. It's oversized for a bayonet to be honest but yeah it's a feature that you can use. So that's basically all I haven't covered in the real grade Unicorn Knight. Now I'll put up a slideshow for all the other variants of the Unicorn Gundam in Unicorn mode to let you guys take your pick on what's your favorite because it's a chore to transform them back and forth. So I'll be back in a second. So this is the Unicorn Gundam perfectibility in destroy mode. And I have to say it does look splendid. Let me tell you that. Now sure, the Unicorn mode may have looked a little bit more refreshing when compared to the Destroy mode, but this thing just marginally takes the cake. Because the blue cycle frame does pop from the body unlike the Fan X which stays hidden inside of the reflective body. And I really do like the white and blue versions of the extra arm armor equipment. Overall, this thing just looks pretty good. Now the issues that I've had with it are only on the arm armor V. And you still need to use some glue to tighten up the ball joints of the large fingers in order to have 
a more pleasant experience with that weapon. But overall, this thing just stays together pretty well, including the On Armor XC, unlike the ones on my Banshee. As a whole, this thing is a pretty dramatic improvement and a perfect version of the Unicorn Gun that real great to get. And you can display this thing as the plan B. Since the backpack arm is pegged onto the top of the shield, you can detach the tails and have no hole in the center. So there you have it. You can display it as the Unicorn Gundam Plan B if you're so fancy. Now the only other weapon that I will allow it to use is the Hyper Beam Javelin, which you transform by tugging on the white pieces and not tugging off the beam effect parts until the cycle frame under it is exposed. So here you have it, the Hyper Beam Javelin transform and it's absolutely easier to switch weapons because you don't need to dismantle the entire thing and reconfigure the pieces for the on or VS to fold it away. So here you have it, the Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility real grade with the full arsenal and I have to say, wow, this thing is definitely an eye catcher. For comparisons, I will first of all need to bring in the high grade right here. This thing, nah man, it's been dwarfed hard by the real grade. And since the real grade is just better in every way when compared to the high grade, yep, there's no competition in this realm. And let's bring in all the other real grade variants of the Unicorn Gundam that I've got. First of all, the original Unicorn Gundam, right here. And then, the Banshee Norn. And then finally, the Fenex. But by far, my favorite version is the one you see in front of you, the perfectibility. In terms of leftover parts, going by no particular order, first of all, we do have the J plate over here with all the parts for you to make a blue version of the Banshee. So take your pick. Next up, of course, we do have some beams over here that I never bothered to cut out. SB12 beams that are in a richer blue when compared to the Fenex. So use them for those kits that are compatible with SB12 beams. And then we have the full armor one plate over here with <laughs> basically all that you can make. I don't know, well, I don't know what's left over here because I'm not too familiar with the real grade full armor unicorn. Can I make a full bazooka out of these parts? Not sure. Continuing the full armor theme, we do have some caps for the fuel tanks. And then we have the N1 plate with shield connector. I think this is another shield connector and this I don't recognize the parts. I don't re I really don't recognize the parts. These are from the Banshee by the way. And then we have the K plate over here with the head pieces for the Banshee and Reedy Marcinus. We do have an extra old plate over here for some extra cycle frame for the armed armor XC. We do have the I1 and I3 plates with shield connectors, so remove the arm armor equipment, use both arm armor DEs on the arms. We have two M plates for the original tops of the arm armor DEs. We do have an extra central arm over here for the U plate. We do have a lot of joints and hands from the G plate. I never really bothered to build these. And we do get the original beam saber connectors and of course a stand adapter. And then in the C plate, you do get an extra Banaher links and extra V fins. I cut this one out just to experiment on my custom core guns, but failed. It doesn't look good. And then last but not least, we do get the D1 plate with the extra arm pieces over here and the hand covers that I didn't use. So quite a bit of leftover parts, but not as much as the high grade or even the master grade. So in terms of perfectibility kits goes, this is the one that has the least amount of leftover parts, as far as I know. So that's going to wrap it up for the perfectibility real grade review. So whatever I said in the past about the other variants of the real grade unicorn all apply here, including the loose vibration nails. But apart from that, this is a 9 out of 10. It holds together pretty well, it functions pretty well, and overall it is just a masterpiece to look at. So. 
since this thing has been made more available due to it being a GPT exclusive, I would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and pick this kit up to experience all three Unicorn Gundams in one. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more Gunplay reviews, Gunplay news, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to the future channels on my channel page if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.